All right, so we're back and we're getting ready to mount some more of uh, these pieces here. We're mounting this next port, which is the uh, this was the control panel mount. We're going to be using the same hex screws that we've been using this entire time. Now, this is a little tricky to get in there, so whoops, we dropped one of these screws. So I'll just put my hand inside through the front, I'll run one of these things through, and there we go. See if we can turn this around to get a better uh, position here. Sure enough, this is better. Doing it from the side. Again, we're going to hand tighten this as best as we can and then go in with the Allen key afterwards and tighten it up. Now remember to leave it just slightly loose so you can uh, position the next screw in place. Make sure that it sits in there nicely. And that one went in really easy, thank God. So far, the construction of this kit hasn't been that bad. The hardest part is just, you know, basically uh, working with the, uh, you know, since the metal is uh, high grade metal and it's d very durable, um, sometimes these pieces aren't 100% machined to size, so you have to kind of shimmy around with these things to make them fit. Now let's see if I can uh, position the Allen key in, and there we go. Okay, now for the next one, the front part of them. Now this is a platform that I would expect someone that's uh, advanced to purchase. As a beginner you can go ahead and start with a kit like this as well, but uh, the reason why I say advanced is not because it's difficult, it's because of the expandability of it so uh, it's a very expandable platform and it's very uh, good construction so you could easily put a laptop on top of this or uh, you know an embedded PC of any kind and not have to worry about the weight restrictions for example if we had something like this which is an e-box we could go ahead and just easily put that there and this thing could easily take it alright so we finished that page that's page 5 we're going to move on, oh, nope, sorry, uh, we still have one more section to go, which will be the actual top shelf, which here they call the top chassis, and that's going to be there, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to try to position this in a way to see how it's going to be, uh, find the right way to do this. Now, the way it seems is that we're going to have to mount, notice how it has these two servo holes, holes here and here. Well, these go facing forward, which I've already uh, just naturally placed it like that. And we're going to need to put, uh, looks like, one, two, three, six of those uh, hex screws in total. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with one of these. And that's one. Let's put this one over here. Two, now let me just kind of loosen this up here. Now 
Now I'm sorry that this kit's so big. Kind of makes it a little difficult to get in here, but uh, let's put it on the side and see if we have a better look with this here. Okay. Okay, so we're able to get those in. Now let me just kind of flip it over. Okay, two more screws. That just fit right in there. Oops. All right. So we're ready to start tightening this up. Just give them a good turn. It doesn't have to be real tight. Actually, having some problems with that particular screw earlier on in the videos. Might have to take it out and replace it with a different one. Let's see if we can get in there. Yep, sure enough, we're gonna have to replace this one here. Let me just go ahead and grab some pliers. here. Luckily we have a lot in this bag. Let's see if I can fix this here. Okay. There we go. Voila, we have finished this portion. Now this is page five of the user manual. So you can see, you can check out all the aspects here. You can turn this around. You can see all the different angles here that we've uh, set up. Rear portion here with the caster. This has got that rotating part here. And you have the two motors inside with encoders. All right. So, moving right along, next portions that we're going to be taking care of will be mounting on all the sensor panels. And uh, sensor panels and some control switches. So, like for example, we had here the power switch. Let's kind of move this out of the way so you can see what we're going to be doing. So, we're going to be using the control switch, the uh, power switch, let's see what they call it here power switch charging socket. So it's got uh, looks like two uh, it's got two buttons and some kind of a socket to actually charge the unit with, which is pretty nice. We're gonna need that. We're also gonna need what looks like are a bunch of these, and these are actually the uh, ultrasonic mounting brackets for the URM04 ultrasonic sensor. Now here it shows a bunch of them. 
So it looks like we're probably going to need not just those, but also the servo pan uh, bracket. Nope, we probably won't need that. Let's just stick with that. So we're going to go with those. And in the next part, we're going to need these here, which are the URM04 ultrasonic mounting kits as well. Okay. So let's start off with these. Now let's start off with step one, which is basically the main ones that look like this. We're just going to open these up. And we have four, and they are very similar on both sides. Look, in fact, they look identical. Let's open up these here. Additional sensor panels. Okay, so we have two of those. You can see them there a little bit better. And let's check this out here. So this is what we were talking about earlier. It's the power switch and charging uh, panel. Got some buttons here. Not sure what they're going to do for us yet. A red one, a green one, and some kind of a socket, which it looks like this is going to plug into. And we might be able to use this to charge or to supply power. It's actually nice that they included this. This is the first robot kit we've seen actually include this. What's going to happen is, is that this is going to just kind of plug in here like such. And then you just kind of screw it in there so it doesn't come out. And that should be like, you know, for charging or for supplying power. So that looks pretty nice. That's a nice added feature to this. And the other nice added feature to this kit is that the, the cables are already run and they're already soldered onto these switches. So a lot of times you have to actually solder them yourself or rerun them or whatnot. In this case, they're already done for you, which is kind of nice. Okay, so this will actually be the second step. We'll put, this will be the third step. So let's start off with what we're going to be doing, which is we're going to be mounting these panels around the outside of the actual kit. So let me pick this sucker back up. Okay. So we have four of these. And it basically says here, indirectly where to mount them but it looks like you could actually go ahead and mount these as you need so you know what we're going to do is we're just going to mount them where we think they should be towards the front up here and we're going to mount them here and here we only have four of them so we're going to try to make the best use of them as possible you know we're going to try to make as good a use as possible for them so they're going to go just like so right there so they're going to go all the way around as you can see like such. 